Hey, what's going on? DCW Hawks here with another action figure review. With me, as always, is Devin. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Pennywise the Dancing Clown figure. Let's check it out. So, we have Pennywise out of the box, and first impressions of the figure is I really like it. It just has some issues standing. We sat here for a, a good five, six minutes trying to get him in a pose where he would actually stand with these giant spider arms on. It's not a bad figure. I like, I like the design. I like the look. It just, the spider arms are kind of causing it to be a little top heavy. And if you don't angle it just right, or position it just right, he's going to fall over. But taking a closer look at him, see his mecha in their details though. See all the little cracks in his head? Mm hmm. The gnarly ass teeth. Oops. You like to wake up to that in the morning. But not too bad. Pretty cool figure. We got him out. Let's go through articulation. The head's on a, the head and neck are on that double ball peg. Get movement here and movement here. Except that peg, it's kind of. Well, you see that it doesn't move too terribly much. It's because on this figure, I've noticed in a lot of the figure when they try and do like rubbery type bits, it's super thick rubber. Yeah. Like, that neck was super thick rubber, and something we'll get to in a minute, but this skirt down here, super thick rubber, and it prohibits the leg movements a lot. Yep, and we'll get to that when we go through the leg articulation. Devin. I was just pointing out a fact. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Dad. Appreciate that. Walk. Anyway, the head moves not very far back because of the little fluffy piece here, and then the fluffiness of his hair too fluffy equal not a lot of movement you get a little bit of a tilt to the right to the left you can turn to the left to the right you can't he can look down a pretty good amount not too bad and we already went over the neck the arms he's got quite a bit of articulation on but you got to go out about that far not very far because of the way the figure was designed with the puffiness. Puffiness prohibits puffy, fluffy. It prohibits a lot of stuff on this figure. But anyway, the arms, spider arms can bend. You can articulate the little leg here. And then you have movement. Double jointed elbow, which is cool. And you have like five articulation points in just the arm. You have one here. Oh, wait, start up here. One here. One here. One here. One here. And one right there. So it's pretty good movement in the arms. Yeah. Uh, the waist, there's no ab crunch because of the rubber overlay. There might be one in there, but you can't do anything with it. The ab crunch oh yeah i just said that the waist bend there we go you can bend about that far forward not very far back it's actually just kind of standing straight up and bends back and then the legs or hip articulation uh, sorry about that it goes out only about that far you get no Van Damme Pennywise because of his fluffy skirt. You have, there is a thigh cut in there. And there's a little diaper. Which was also super thick. Yeah. And you got double jointed knees, which work very well. You got a rotation at the knee itself. And then at the lower knee. And then no foot articulation or ankle or ah sorry it's been a long day 
no boot cut but I guess that would kind of be this right here would be considered a boot cut and the ankles moved down about that far and up about that far something I don't like though is I'm not sure because I don't have and he doesn't have any of the other uh, like reboot Pennywise's but I feel like if they were the same exact sculpt with the rubber and stuff they should have at least changed it for this one because this is Pennywise the dancing clown and he can't even do his dancing pose that's yeah the signature far out as he goes so that I find stupid about this figure yeah it's a little a little upsetting they're having that issue. Oh, there he goes, standing up. So, yeah, it's first first thoughts. He's definitely got some issues, but I love the concept and the idea of including this. They've had so many different Pennywises, and well, he has so many different looks in the two movies that it warrants them to make multiple different figures. So they had like the Well House and the bloody version of the original and. I think that's it. They did three for the original movie, right? And then this one. They did normal, well house, this one. I feel like there was another one, though. Well, they had the, the Comic Con. The, the, the GameStop, wasn't it? The GameStop one was the bloody one. Yeah. But they had the Comic Con etched look from the newspaper. Yeah. Which there will be a review on that one, too, at some point. And then they had Chapter 2. I think Chapter 2 had two different versions, too. So, a lot of Pennywise. Lots of Pennywise figures out there. Although, I get Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, but a much better way they could have done this instead of doing multiple figures. I mean, I guess that makes them more money. But they could have, like, thrown in all the extra heads and the extra hands and the crab arms all into, like, an accessory bag or something. Or yeah. a couple different accessory bags, so you don't have like three, four different Pennywise bodies. Yeah, that's true. Because it's all the same body, it's just the head and one of them has the arms different. Yeah. I've seen one review, I can't remember who it was, but they had like, there's like a pile of like 20 different Pennywise head sculpts that you could choose from. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, but at the same time, if you just compiled everything that they have, like Devin was saying, into one, like, deluxe box set of just Pennywise accessories, you could have mix and match parts, everything. Different balloons, different holding hands, different hands in general. That would be pretty cool, I think. Alright, so that's the overview. We're going to get now to accessories. All right, now we're gonna take a look at his accessories and he comes packed in with a bunch of different stuff. So that's pretty cool. I like it. This is kind of like a deluxe set because he's got so many different accessories you can come with. But first things first, we're gonna swap out these arms. And all you really do is you just, well, maybe pull them off right there at the second bend. Get that little plug the other one off while we're at it. Why not? Oh, damn. Pull those guys off. Set them to the side. And then he comes with two additional arms and fists. Make sure you go left with left, right with right. And you just got a little hole in there and a little peg right there and you just Pop them in there. There we go. Sorry, I was doing all that off camera. Now you have. Well, it might not be the arms that were causing it to have issues because I'm having a hard time getting them to stand right now. I think it's because of what I mentioned earlier, that diaper piece that's so thick that his legs don't go together that well. That could be. Like, his legs are always spread a little bit. Then in the continuing, 
in the arm department, he also comes with these two little grab- gripping hands. Or not gripping, but like. Like I'm gonna get you. Reaching hands. towards someone. Uh, reaching to get kids from the losers club. And then he comes with three different, well, four technically, because he's got the one that came on him in box. Which is really... Angry, I'm gonna eat you head. It's really cool. I like that head a lot. Got that head. Then he's got, what was this, the portrait lady? Yeah, the painting lady. Painting lady. Someone, again, I forget who, because I watched this movie. Stanley? Stanley Yelnats. Stanley? No, Yelnats. That's from Holes. I'm <laughs> dumb. Anyway, Stanley from, I'm pretty sure it's Stanley. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But he was definitely a horror, definitely afraid of this painting. And Pennywise knew that, and he used it to his advantage. Because that's what he does. It's pretty cool. Nice little sculpt. It looks just like it did in the movie. Like, right, right as it should be. And to switch the heads out, it's really simple. You just pop that off. Also, something cool is that that little, this piece comes off. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you would want it to. I mean, that doesn't look very cool. I mean, let's just try it. Let's just see. I just try to, well, maybe. That's actually kind of creepy, too. Yeah, that's horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure you only see him in like that in the movie for just a little bit, like well, it's in the a end. few seconds. It's in the end too. Well, yeah, but like in the end, you only see him like that for a few seconds with a painting lady's body with Pennywise's or Pennywise's body with painting lady's head. Yeah. When he like before, when he was mainly the painting lady, he was the whole painting lady. Like you don't really see him like that for a few seconds. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Alright, well, I don't like to admit that, so moving on. <laughs> next hand, or next hand, next head you have is this guy right here. Love the little hands coming out of his head. I like the little goop that's coming out. Oh, that's another hand. Yeah, there's hands prying his mouth open. It's on the top, too. That's awesome. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just like some goop or something. That's really cool. Yeah, you can really see it. Even got fingernails on there. Mm hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I like that. Pretty wicked. And I believe they. Well, some of them. You can move them around. Get different poses out of the hands. Each of the hands are on separate ball tags, which are pretty cool. Yeah. And you could also, if you wanted to, you could take them all out and just have Pennywise with a very open mouth and a bunch of holes. Should be weird. Possibly creepier than that. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe we'll do that at the end in the pictures. Just throwing up hands. <laughs> pretty cool. Kind of looks like it's pulling his eye out. Like that one hand on his left or right eye. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to pull it out. Looks good on the figure, though. I don't know if I'd display mine like that, but... Looks pretty cool. If you're someone who likes creating specific scenes from stuff, that definitely would be cool. Yeah. And then this one, the final head, is cool. What's the light called? The dead lights. The dead lights. You can see it in there. There's an LED ball. But let's take a look at a, all those teeth. They're painted really well. Yeah, for so many of them. You know how much time that would take? Long and time. each figure that they made, of, or each copy of this that they made, how long just painting the teeth would be? Mm hmm Pretty cool. Opened up wide. No eyes. When he captured Beverly. Yeah. And then it's got a little button right here. You push the button. 
It lights up. It lights up at the bottom too, though. But you won't see that. I haven't actually tried. Let's put it on the figure. Just to give it a... See what he looks like. Oh. Yeah, you kind of do a little bit. Oh, yeah, you do. Although, I think for some reason it picks up more on camera than it does in person. Yeah, it does. If you really wanted to, you could throw a little black paint, like... At the bottom of it? Yeah, like down here, where all the extra light comes in. Just throw some black paint in there. Make sure you don't get it on the white parts, and that should take care of your overspray of white problem. And another thing that's cool with that head is if you're worried about like running out of battery and never being able to use it ever again, don't. Because the hair actually just pops off and then there's a little screw right there. Explain like that. Yeah, you can always <laughs> change your battery out. I just wish that it would like, I like the light up feature, but I really wish it would uh like illuminate the teeth more, like the whole mouth, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like down here by the jaw too. Well in order for them to do that, they would have to have the bulb sticking out super far. Yeah, that's true. I mean what they got or what they gave us is really cool. I mm -hmm. I dig that a lot. Put his toupee back on. A toupee is fake hair. Yeah. I didn't know if you knew that or not. Always a struggle. It's always a struggle. And that about wraps it up for his accessories. I think I covered them all. Mm -hmm. I just keep them in review. The rest of the review, just put the light on. So, which head sculpt do you like the most? I like the dead lights the most. They are pretty cool. There's just something that I really like about his mouth, like, opening, like, unhinging. And also the fact that his eyes just completely disappear. Yeah. Well, you can kind of see him right there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't either. I thought they were just gone. Looks like one of the cracks, like it just blends in, you know? It does. That's... You can kind of tell. Yeah, you look at it close up. It's definitely a very closed eye. Mm -hmm. but so you can see the light shining through his face, too. But that's an extremely zoomed in shot. Yeah, I mean, that's with the figure right next to the camera. So That's pretty cool. I, I think I'd probably have to go with that head, too. That one or the stock one. I just love the, the sculpt on these. Mm -hmm. But talking about heads... That's the problem that this figure has, is it doesn't even, it's supposed to be the dancing clown. He doesn't, you can't get him to dance. And he doesn't have the hood. Yeah, I mean, you can get him, you can get him into like, somewhat of the pose, but you cannot, I don't know, just the stern, solid, no smile, just straightforward Bill Skarsgård face. That should have been included. So I think if you do have the first Pennywise, I believe it's the first one where he just has the plain, monotone looking face, take that head sculpt, put it on this figure. Well, I guess you wouldn't even have to, really. You could just use, use, that, figure. use that figure, yeah. But, I mean, for what it is, it's pretty cool. Just, it's a little inaccuracies, I guess. I had to call it anything. All right, now let's uh, get ready to do the size comparisons. We will be right back after this short commercial break. get to the size comparisons and for these ones I kind of went with a theme first off 
we have the McFarlane's White Knight Joker. And on camera, he looks way shorter than Pennywise. And he kind of is. I guess that's not just an on camera. What is it with McFarlane figures not standing up ever? I don't know. Fix your joints, McFarlane. Anyway. I really like this figure. It's pretty cool. It's from the White Knight. Very good posability. It must just be a smaller scale because... Or a smaller... On the smaller scale within the 7 inch scale. Because McFarlane's stuff usually... Is pretty on point with NECA. Yeah. So maybe, maybe this Joker's just shorter. I don't know. Let's get him out of here. Next we have the NECA 1990 Tim Curry Pennywise. And he's shorter too. Maybe Pennywise is just taller. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bill Skarsgård is a pretty tall guy, so... True. I don't know. Good you can't have you gotta respect the past and move forward with the future. Bill Skarsgard is six foot four and ten three. Got research going on in these DCW Hawks videos, people. Yeah, it's six four and five nine. Oh well then yeah, that would Tim, Tim Curry is five nine. Bill Skarsgård, 6'4". So yeah, that would make sense. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. Tim Curry. And last but not least, Marvel Legends movie Deadpool, who is just a dwarf. To he's, everybody. He's just a little guy. Look at that. He can barely come up to his shoulders. But again, different scale, so... That's how it should be. I wonder how tall he is next to Joker. Actually, he scales pretty well. Yeah, they're like... Joker would be on the tall side of a six-inch scale. I think Ryan Reynolds or Deadpool there would just be about the same size. What about that other Deadpool? Do you know what scale he's in? The one that's over there? Oh, the Marvel Select one? Yeah. Their Marvel Select is always a bigger scale. I'm not sure what they are. I always get so off track. We're supposed to be know. doing something. God. <laughs> Ugh. So anyway, that was our review. Um, final thoughts on him. I really like this Pennywise. I really like NECA. I really like Pennywise. So put the two together and you just... It's good stuff. I like the heads. The heads are probably my favorite accessories. Just because of how vastly different they are. Except next time, well, no, there won't be a next time. So I really doubt they're going to put this figure out again. It should just come with the right head. If it's the dancing Pennywise figure, it should have everything you need to recreate that scene. Or what they could do is they could do, like, instead of an accessory pack later down the line, they could release, like, a NECA Ultimate Pennywise. And it's, like, the Pennywise body, and it has everything. <laughs> that would have to be a big box, man, because... It's true. All those, all those accessories that he comes with, well, all of them come with. They're just, there's a lot of them. There is, four heads each. Yeah. Balloons, boats. Yeah, balloons and boats, and they do have the one accessory pack, but that's just like, you that's know, nothing diorama to do with the type stuff. Yeah. Well, anyway, this has been DCW Hawks here with me, Devin, and. We're going to end this review now because it's just been a disaster. You guys have a good one.
out of 